when Drea won back Best Actress, I, I thought I was going to throw up. Like, I would tear it up. And then Best Feature, like, I was like, I'm not used to this. Like, I'm a worker bee. You guys know me. I'm, like, doing books and working in the office, and you just work hard, and you don't think that this is flattering. It's almost too much. There's all these really great movies here. Like, what the fuck? How did we get this? This is crazy. I'm really happy for Ned and Drea. They, they do, they, they have the kind of lifestyle I love, you know? It's like, they love making movies. They love making music. They really care about human beings in the world, like, injustices in the world. But they're so nice to work with. They're such calm, sweet people, and they're very sweet to our crew. You know, not everyone is always caring about PAs and stuff, and they do like I do. On a small film, like, you're a team. Like, believe me, if the smallest person on the set doesn't do their job, it's gonna really affect it, so we were like a family you know, dysfunctional and crazy as it is. It's amazing if you talk to them how much research they did about Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Like, they were literally on Facebook and MySpace corresponding with so many closeted military women. And these women are obviously living in secret, so being able to talk to Ned and Drea online was fantastic, but everything went into the script. Like, when Drea came home, you know, during pre-production with her hair cut and outfit for the film, I was like, wait a minute, you're so femme and pretty and that hair is so pretty. I'm like, why? You're a Marine, shouldn't you get a, like a crew cut? And, and she goes, no, what the women all tell us is because they're closeted, they overcompensate. And if you could see the letters that the kids send you, like it's so important to get positive gay films out. For one, is to educate people, but two, so we can share our experience. And three, I like happy movies. This is a feel-good movie. We really liked a lot of the, the bar scenes, especially the one that you were in. <laughs> he told me, I, the only reason I did that is because I, I got up that morning and I made every single one of the women on my crew be in that scene. And so then I felt I needed to too. And Ned said, there's no way that would get in, right? It ruins the credibility of the lesbian bar when there's this old lady in it. It's like, what is this, gay ARP?